Photogrammetry is developing very fast. We have Meshroom and Blender and with intelligent missions it's very easy to do the shootings. In this video I will show you two methods. So we have the standard map grid and then we have the extended grid where we take three images per position. Now let's first have a look on the standard method. So we go about 100 meter altitude and then we can define a grid and we can see it online on the map. And if you change the orientation of the aircraft, the grid will also change the orientation. So it's very easy to create linear grids on the map. First we define the center point of our mission and then we can simulate the grid with the mission button. Once our grid is perfect aligned, we can start the mission. The first picture is always made in the center and then the aircraft follows the grid defined with the map generator. With this method it's very easy to take photogrammetry shootings and we will see later on how we can stitch them together. I use Meshroom to do so and I use Blender 2.8 to rework all the textures and the size of the shooting. On the map screen you can always verify the actual position of the aircraft and how the mission is ongoing. So for this shooting we have 26 images. Then we import them into Meshroom and we stitch them together to an object. Here you can see the result of this shooting. So with only 26 images we can get quite a good result. If we will have more focal lengths with the same aircraft, same number of positions, we can take three images per position where we change the pitch angle and also the position of the aircraft. That's what I'm doing in the extended mission mode. As I turn the aircraft, it should work with almost all the DJI aircrafts. With this method we get about, we can see that in the final result as we have a bigger image from our shooting. So we get about 78 images for this shooting and you can here see the final result. We have for each position three images. So with open source software like Meshroom we get quite good results with this method. Now let's go into Blender. In Blender we can resize the images, we can rework the texture and we can reduce the vertices. In Blender 2.8 we have a real rendering machine so it's very easy to work with it as you can get always the real texture on nearly real time on your image. The first step in Blender is always to resize and positioning the object and we get also the center of the object. Once the positioning is perfect of our object we can resize the whole object. So we cut off external vertices. We made that with a square. So we go to into the edit mode then we have to activate transparency so that we select really all the vertices. Take the square method and choose our view. Then we invert this view and delete the vertices. When we reduce the size of our object, we have always to recenter the gravity of our object. So we go back to object mode and then we select the center of our object.
then we can activate the textures and see the final result of our shooting. Here I am in the rendering mode and we can see it's quite a good result. It's really easy to do. I hope you give it a try. Thank you for watching. Until the next time.